Uh, good day, I'm Jojo Melif Ramos. Uh, I am presenting the preparation of data and the presentation of rainfall data. Preparation of data. Before using the rainfall records in the station, it is necessary to check the record for missing and the consistency of data. May kulang ba or consistent ba yung data? The inconsistency of data can be due to the change of gauge location, change of gauge type, change of gauge environment, and change of gauge observer, and change of climate. Presentation of data. The following methods can be used in estimate the missing precipitation data. Station average method, normal station, normal ratio method, inverse distance weighing, and regression. So, discuss ko lang dito is yung station average method and yung normal ratio method. And for inconsistency naman, yung gagamitin natin is double mass curve technique. So, for prefer preparation of data or missing data, yung first method natin is station average method with the formula of Px is equal to 1 over n, the summation of i is equal to 1 to n of Pi, where Px is the missing precipitation value for station x. P1, P2, and the Pn are the precipitation value at the adjacent station for the same period, and n is the number of nearby station. Note lang, the method is used when 10% variation in annual precipitation at station X lies within annual precipitation adjacent station. Ibig sabihin kung yung mga adjacent station ba is, na, is lies within the 10% of the annual precipitation. So, big it example. Okay, example number one for station average method. Find the missing storm precipitation data of station A given the following table using station average method. So, dito tayo gahanap ng 10% ng annual precipitation kasi binigay naman yung method na gagamitin. So, station 1, storm precipitation in inches is 3.8. Station 2, 3.25. Station A, wala. Ito yung hinahanap natin. Station 3, 4.6, station 4, 3.15. Station 1, for annual precipitation, naka-inches, is 39.5, hanggang sa station 4, 46.n. So, that's your given. So, salpak na lang natin sa formula. PA is equal to 1 over N. Summation of I is equal to 1 to N of PI. So, yung N natin dito is 4, 4 is 4 yung adjacent substation adjacent station natin so p1 3.8 plus p2 3.25 plus p3 uh, 4.6 and p4 3.15 calculate makuha natin is pa is equal to 3.7 inches so for normal ratio method naman ito yung p Ito yung formula, Px is equal to 1 over n, the summation of i is equal to 1 to n of Pi times nx over ni, where Px is the missing precipitation value for station x for a certain time period. Yung Pi are the precipitation values at adjacent station for the same period. nx is the long-term annual average precipitation at station x. Uh, Pn, ay n I is the long-term precipitation of neighboring station, and N is the number of adjacent station. So, example number one for normal ratio method. Find out the missing storm precipitation data at station X given the following table. So, station 1, yung storm precipitation data is 3.8, station 2, 3.25. Station X, wala. Station 4, uh, Station 3, 4.6, Station 4, 3.15. So, 
Yung data dito is pares lang ganun sa data na ginamit natin for station average method. Kaso lang, hanapin muna natin yung 10% ng annual precipitation of station X. Kung tutugma ba or mag ba yung mga annual precipitation ng mga adjacent station sa nakuha natin 10%. So, 36.8 plus or minus 10% of 36.8 is 33.2 inches and 40.48 inches. So, halos hindi naman lahat kasi may, may sumubra yung station 3 and station 4. So, ang gagamit natin, gagamitin natin ay normal ratio method. Okay, solution. Yung P1 natin, 3.8. 8 inches, 3, P2, 3.35 inches, 3.3, P3, 4.6, hanggang sa 4, P4, 3.15. So, N1 natin is 39.5 inches, hanggang sa N4, 46.2 inches, and NX natin is 36.8. So, Madali lang naman, si subject lang naman natin. So, Px is equal to 1 over n. The summation of i is equal to 1 to n of Pi times nx over ny and i. So, yung n natin, number of adjacent station is 4. 1 over 4 times P1, 3.8 over n1, P1 over ay P2 over n2. So, 32 3.25 over 43.4 plus 4.6 over 49.5 and P4 3.15 over N4 46.2 times the, the, the data of NX so 3.8 so we equate natin so makukuha natin na PX is 3.06 inches another example for Normal ratio method. Precipitation state station X has in, inoperative for part of month during which of a storm called respective storm total of at three surrounding station A, B, and C were 98 mm, 8 mm, and 110 mm. And the normal annual precipitation amount of station X, A, B, and C are respectively 800 mm, 1008 mm, 842 mm, and 1080 mm. Estimate the storm precipitation at station X. So, given naman lahat ng data, salpak na lang agad sa formula. So, Px is equal to 1 over n. So, yung n natin dito is 3. Tatlo yung, subs yung adjacent station. So, nx over n times pa over na plus PB over NB plus PC over NC. So, 800 over 3 times the quantity of 898 over 1008 plus 80 over 842 plus 110 over 1080. So, yung makuha natin na value is 78.42 mm. So, preparation of data for consistency of data gamit ang double mass curve technique. Take a group of 5 to 10 base stations in the neighborhood of the problem station X is selected. Arrange the data of station X, rainfall, and the average of the neighboring station in reverse chronological order, meaning that the latest record will be the first in the list and the oldest will be the last. Accumulate the precipitation at station X or the summation of Px and the average values of the group base stations or, or the summation of Pm starting from the latest record. Then plot the summation of Px against summation of P average. Then decide a decided breakpoint at the slope of the resulting plot is observed that indicated a change in precipitation regime at station X, meaning that there is some inconsistency of data. Therefore, date that station edge should be corrected or adjusted as a form 
by a formula of Pcx is equal to the quantity of M, uh, Mc over Ma times Px, where Mc is the slope of data before breakpoint, Ma is the slope of line after breakpoint, and Pcx is corrected precipitation at station X, and Px is the original precipitation at station X. So, base sa image, ito yung breakpoint. And before breakpoint, ang slope niya is, P, is MC. And after breakpoint, ang slope niya ay MA. So, ang pagkahanap ng MC is rise over lang naman, Y over X. And MA, ganun din MA is Y over X. Example number one. Annual rainfall data station M, as well as the average annual rainfall values of a group of 10 neighboring stations located in a, in a meteorological homogeneous region are given below. So, starting from year 1950 to year 1979, mayroong data na annual, annual rainfall of station M, naka MM yung yung measurement and the average annual rainfall of group of mm mm so letter a check whether the data of station m is consistent ito yung hanapin natin b in which year change ito yung breakpoints ang taon nagsimula yung breakpoint and c compute the mean for adjusted manual rainfall at station m solution step 1 arrange the data from latest to oldest Step 2, compute the cumulative value of station M, the summation of PM, and the uh, 10 station average rainfall values, summation of P average, shown in table 2.1. Then step 3, plot the data with summation of PM on the y axis and the uh, summation of P average on the x axis, shown on the figure 2.8. So, ito na nga yung data natin. Kung reverse chronological order na siya starting from 1979 to 1950 so ang pag ng cumulative values for rainfall station of station M is in year 1979 meron siyang 612 so copy na lang natin then plus the sa value of 1978 which is 426 is equivalent siya sa 1,338. And then, 1,038 will be added to the data of 1977, which is 825, will equivalent to 1,863. Hanggang sa makarating tayo sa year 1950, which is equivalent sa 17,060. And ganun din sa for average annual rainfall of group, kukunin na natin yung cumulative value niya, which is from year 1979, the data is 588, so copy. Then, i-add natin sa 1978, which is 410, will be equals to, equal to 998. And then the 998 will be added to the data of 1977, which is 787, hanggang sa makarating tayo sa, date, sa year 1950, which is 23,617. Oops, oops, oops. Ito naman yung figure na pag-plot natin, which is yung x-axis natin is yung p-average, and yung y-axis naman natin is yung summation of p-m. IPM. So, from the data, from the graph shown, nag-start yung breakpoint is sa 1968. So, step 4, analyze the breakpoint. Iyon na nga. Since there is a break on the slope in the year 1968, it, will be, it may be said that the data at station M prior to 1968 is inconsistent and needs, to adjust, needs adjustment. Ibig sabihin, starting from 1968 hanggang sa 1950, kailangan natin i-adjust yung value ng PM. E yung 1979 naman hanggang sa 19, 1969, 
Okay na yan. At step 5, solve for the correct slope. Number 1, solve for MC using the data from the latest to the break point, point from 1979 to 1969. And solve for MA using the data from 1968 to 1950. Then apply the corrected precipitation from 1968 to 1950. So dahil hindi naman ganun ka-precise yung buo nating single line o yung slope gamit ang mga data from 19, 1979 hanggang sa 1950, gamit, kagamit tayo ng, ng linear progress, regression in data analysis. So, hanapin natin yung MC gamit ang linear regression. Ang equation niya is MC equivalent, C equivalent to N times, times the quantity of summation of xy minus summation of x times the summation of y all over n times the quantity of summation of x squared minus the quantity of x to the second power. So magkaiba yung summation of x squared sa summation of x at saka mo lang yung squared. Okay, nakuha na natin yung mga total sa cumulative value of rainfall of group and the average annual rainfall of the group, yung xy at yung x squared. So yung MC natin, pag kinalculate natin, yung makuha natin is MC equivalent si 1.02947. Para naman sa MA, gagamit din tayo ng linear regression in data analysis. Same formula pa din, n equivalent summation times summation of xy minus summation of x times summation of y all over n times the quantity of summation of x squared minus the quantity of e summation of x and then squared. Okay, magka. Okay, at salpak na lang natin sa calculator. Ito na yung magpuha natin na ma. MA is equivalent to 0 0.5288. Okay, apply to natin yung computed MC and MA to find the adjusted value for PM from year 1968 kung saan nagsimula yung breakpoint hanggang sa 1950. Using the formula PCM times the is equal to PM times the quantity of MC over MA. Ang paggawa ng adjusted value is... From 1968, yung PM niya is 596 times natin sa MC, which is 1.0929, all over PMA, is, which is 0 0.5288. Ang makuha natin dito is 1160.295234. At ganun din sa next is from to 1967 which is 573 times natin sa quantity of MC over MA 1.029 over 0.5288 makukuha natin is 1115.5187 hanggang sa makarating tayo sa 1950 which is 676 times the quantity of MC 1.029 over MA 0.5288 makuha natin dun is 1,315.03 so makikita natin dito is naka decimal places sya apat, sobra apat so kunin natin yung finished value for PM so dahil, dahil hindi naman nagsimula yung break point sa 1969 the data of 1979 to 1969 is equivalent lang naman sa original data. So, from 1968, yung 1,160, i-round off natin. So, magiging 1,160 1, pa rin. Hanggang makarating tayo sa 1950, which is 1,316. At 
i-total natin to para makuha yung mean. Total is 27,719. Divide natin sa number of years which is 30. Ang makuha natin mean is 923.9667 or 924. So, proceed naman tayo sa presentation of data or rain, of rainfall data. In presentation and analysis of data for rainfall, there are few ways or method used. These are mass curve of rainfall, graph, and point rainfall. Ginagamit itong mga graph na to, itong mass curve, graph, and point rainfall, is para mas mabilis natin o mas mapadali yung pag-analyze natin ng rainfall data para malaman agad natin kung anong time or kung saan lalakas o na yung ulan. Bagi tayo ng example. Sa mass curve rainfall, this is a plot of accumulated precipitation against time that is plotted in chronological order. The steepness of the curve indicates the intensity of rainfall. The horizontal line of the curve indicates that there is no rainfall during that period. The mass curve is directly plotted in float type and weighing bucket type rain gauge. From the mass curve, the total depth of rainfall and intensity of rainfall at any instant of time can be found. So, basis sa figure 2.9, habang yung x-axis niya is yung time at yung y-axis naman niya is precip accumulated precipitation which is CM. So, basis sa graph, starting from 0, ranges from 0 to 1, days, lumalakas yung, or mas lumalakas yung intensity ng rainfall. At pagdating naman sa 10 or order 10 tree, meron tayong magkikita na na horizontal line. So, ibig sabihin nun, there is a stoppage of rainfall at that time. Number 2, hydrograph method. This is a bar graph type it represents a plot of intensity of rainfall against time interval. It is usually de derived from mass curve and or directly from the data obtained from rain gauge. The area under the height graph represents the total rainfall received in that period of time. So, base sa figure 2.10, or height graph of storm, habang lumalakas yung, yung x-axis pala niya, is yung time in hours and yung y-axis niya is in rainfall intensity in cm per hour. Makikita natin na from time 16 to 24 hours, lumalaki yung, ito yung pinakamalaking intensity na receive na rainfall which is nasa from 0.3 hanggang 0.4. At yung pinakamabag intensity naman is from 40 to 56 hours which is from 0 nasa pagitan ng 0 at 0.1 at last as ang, ay ang point rainfall data method also known as station rainfall it is graphically represented as a plot of magnitude versus chronological time in the form of bar diagram the rainfall data can be represented as daily, weekly, monthly, seasonal or annual values for Various periods. So, base sa figure 2.11, bar chart of annual rainfall at station M. So, yung x-axis niya yung years, naka-annual. Annual. And yung y-axis naman niya is yung annual rainfall sa MM. So, makikita natin dito, from the graph, sa year 1965, sa yung pinakamalaking pinakamataas na mayroong annual rainfall na halos nasa 1,200 up to, to 1,400. Yung horizontal line naman, straight line, yung 20, ito yung 20% ano, less than the mean and yung dotted line is yung mean which is 6, 560 ay ba? 568.7 mm. Ibang data at ito. Yun.